Hey everyone, CV Tech here. Uh, making another video today discussing the pros and the cons of the HTC Desire 626S on Boost Mobile. And uh, I'm going to get into a lot of different things with this phone today. Uh, okay, I'll keep this video as short as possible, but I got a lot of pros and some cons here that I want to explain. And I want to say first of all before I get into anything with this video here, is this is a low end budget device. Now, when I say that, this phone is not going to measure up to these so-called flagship devices. Now, you know, I know they're flagships. I know there are some really good spec phones out there. But i got to be honest with you. I have used some low-end phones that have ran just as good, if not better, than some flagship devices. Um, one in particular that I've used recently is the Samsung Galaxy S5, um, which had more lag than HTC does. And that's pretty bad when you look, you know, just under normal basic usage. So um, I want to go ahead and say to anybody out there who, you know, only think that flagships is like the top dog and you know, they're the best, they're not for everybody. Everybody cannot afford to pay $600 plus for a phone outright um, when you can buy a phone that's lower end. It's going to suit your basic needs and going to do what you know, going to do it very well. So before I, you know, got started in all of this, I wanted to make mention that this cause it says this cause it's a low wind budget device does not mean it's junk um, because it's not. It's really not. So anyway, with that being said, I want to go ahead and get into the pros of this phone. And the number one thing I want to make mention of is the look and the feel of the phone. Uh, the phone is pretty light. Um, I like the way the phone looks. You know. The white in the back, with the white around the top and the bottom, with the screen in the middle. Now, with this phone here, it has a little bit of a different look to it sometimes. There's times um, that when you look at it, under certain light, and it looks white, you know, a rally around it. But under certain lights, it kind of has a shiny silverish looking, especially on the front here, top and bottom. It has a silvery look, and it looks kind of cool, you know, the way it kind of changes appearance a little bit now. I can tell it, somebody else may not be able to tell it, but I can. I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, so to look and feel, the phone is thin. Uh, got a really nice thin feel to it. It's light. Uh, the buttons on the side here for the uh, power and volume rocker are nicely placed. Uh, even though the volume button may be a little bit too high, it could be a little bit lower than what it is. But, you know, it's still not bad. It's still pretty easy to reach and everything else. So, yeah, nice form factor, a nice design. And I like it. I think it's really nice. Number two is I want to get into the call quality and the reception. Now, this one does have two speakers, one up top and one on the bottom. It's not boom sound, nothing like that. Top one is your um, earpiece, and the bottom one is your speaker for speakerphone, ringtones, music, stuff like that. Uh, but call quality is really nice. The phone feels really good up to your ear. Uh, it sits up against it really good and really good and cozy and call quality seems to be pretty clean now you do have HD calls on Boost Mobile you know to other you know, Boost, Sprint, stuff like that you have HD calling which is really clear and even when you call in other carriers or call in a landline phone it still sounds very very nice without any, any real issues reception wise goes um, I find myself connecting to network a lot faster with this phone uh, than other phones I've used. Um, so, you know, re good re reception is good. Um, hooking up to um, data networks is also good as well. No drop calls, no issues in that department either. So, that's also a major plus with the HTC uh, Desire 626S. Uh, next thing I want to get into is the 720p display. Now, the display on this thing looks really good. It's very crisp, very clean, very clear. The phone is very smooth. It just works very well. I mean, even under basic usage or playing games, it does seem to work pretty good uh, without many. Uh, there, of course, there is a little bit of lag here and there, but it's a low-end phone that's going to have lag. I've not seen an Android phone yet that does not have a certain amount of lag to it. So, you know... But that's kind of beside the point. You know, a 5-inch display with a PPI of 294 pixels per inch. Um, you know, so 720p is not bad for this phone. It really ain't. Um, so it's really nice, very clear, very sharp. And so, yeah, very, very good. This phone here, this particular device, has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Really helps that when playing games. Uh, anything over one gigabyte of RAM is good. You know, 1.5, 2 gigs and above, 
uh, is always really nice to see in a phone. So 1.5 gigabytes of RAM along with the 8 gigs of built-in storage, which of course about half of that goes into you know the phone itself. So you get around 4, 3.7 to 4 gigabytes available to user. But on the bright side is you're able to add a 200 gigabyte micro SD card. So you got a lot of video recording to do, a lot of music you want to add. You got a lot of storage there to do it in. So that's a major plus. 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, able to add a 200 gigabyte micro SD card. Pretty awesome. Um, next, I want to get into the camera. Now, the camera, I like the way it looks. It's got a nice big size camera in the front, big size in the back with the flash below it. The back is 5 megapixel. Records in 720p and does have a flash here. The front is 2 megapixel, also records in 720p. And in bright lighting, outside somewhere, takes really good pictures, really good videos. Uh, the front camera, I've not really tested out too much yet, but the rear camera does do a good job taking pictures and videos in bright sunshine. Uh, so, and it has, you know, it has a few features. Pretty cool. Um, the, fr the front speaker. Now, anybody will tell you that a front speaker is better than a speaker on the side, bottom, in, in, especially in the back. So, the front speaker is really nice to see on a phone, which you see on a lot of HTC, HTC phones. So, yeah. Also, the 1.5 gigabytes of RAM that I mentioned earlier, that's just for the boost variant. I'm not sure about, you know, anybody else's carry any other carrier that carries it. I don't know if it's one gigabyte, one point five, two, I'm not sure. I know that Boost Mobile carries the one point five gigabyte uh, version, so I want to get that out there so that way you, you know I will make that clear. And I'm sure to I'm sure to think the last thing I want to make mention of, but so far what I can think of right now is the price tag. Um, this phone will cost you anywhere from a hundred dollars to a hundred and thirty bucks. Now, I'm not really sure about any kind of promotions in Boost Mobile stores right now. I have looked, however, I have not paid any attention um, to the prices as far as new activations or uh, upgrade, nothing like that. But as far as buying it outright. You know, I know Walmart sells it for between $109.99 and $129.99. So that's a really good deal for this phone for what you're getting. A lot of features, really nice build quality. Now the back on this phone cannot be removed. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'll mention that here in a few minutes. But, uh, um, but, the, but for the price tag of $130, is for the max you're going to pay for this phone is a good deal and it's really kind of hard to pass this phone up for that price as far as as smooth as it runs as good as it runs and for the reliability of the phone in general it's just a good phone now into a couple of cons battery life first and foremost is battery life this has a and I want to also add a few things in with battery life as I get into this it's this got a 2000 milliamp hour battery now, while they make a phone with a 5-inch 720p display with a, such a low 2000 mAh battery is beyond me. And what makes it worse is you are not able to take the back off of the phone. The battery is encased and sealed inside the phone, so there's no replacing it. No buying extra batteries to be able to go in there and switch it out whenever you need to. And I want to tell you, this phone right here, if you use it any at all, um, heavy playing games, if you don't own it a lot, it's going to go dead. and going to go dead quick. It does not last no time. Uh, you better have a car charger. You better have a little um, power brick or power bank to be able to charge it up with. Because you're going to need it if you're going to be out for a while. And using it pretty heavy for taking pictures, videos, making phone calls, Facebook, whatever. The battery does not last. So that's kind of one, that's one of the biggest cons with the HTC Desire, hit this button here because the battery is getting low on the camera here. Um, that's one of the biggest cons with this phone is battery life. Also, with that, you got to access the micro SD card slot and SD and SIM card slot on the side here. And this little thing right here is a little flimsy sometimes that you can kind of feel it moving around whenever you're grabbing the phone. It pops open. 
and I ain't got no way right now. Let's see if I can pop this thing open. I want to keep this video as short as possible, but I want to kind of just show you everything with the phone that I'm thinking of here. Now, this is not the full review of this phone. Uh, that will come later. But as you see right here, this little flap comes open here, and you have your SIM card slot and SD card slot. And this here is just kind of a floppy, flimsy thing. And it just kind of snaps back into place, but it's not very, very tight. So, yeah, battery can be removed and all that stuff. Kind of a kind of a bad thing. Um, camera. also a, a pro is also a con. The camera in lower lighting is no count. It's grainy. Uh, taking pictures in lower light with a flash on is not bad. It's not great, but it's passable. HDR does work good in lower light though. Uh, if you have some form of light on and the picture looks kind of grainy, if you use HDR it does look pretty good without any issues. Um, as long as you don't move the phone while taking a picture. It's best to use a tripod or if you have very steady hands, it's not bad. Video quality also is not good in lower light. Even in a good lit room, video quality is just not any count. Not, it's not, the front's not any count, the rear's not any count, and the max recording for both is 720 front and rear, which is pretty bad considering that most, even lower end phones cheaper than this has full 1080, supposedly has full 1080, and this one here stuck at 720, and there's not very many resolutions you can go go to. You know, there's nothing in between 720 and 240. You go from 720 to 240 to 144, so there's no 480, nothing like that, so you're pretty much stuck at either 720 or just very low non-usable recording that's for the front and the rear so the camera is a pro and, and good outside sunlight but it's a con inside in lower lighting or even in a good lit room it still ain't the greatest in the world so battery can be a good thing and a bad thing uh, the processor it is a 1.1 gigahertz quad core snapdragon 210 processor and while that could be, well, that's a good thing, and it's also a bad thing. Um, you know, depends on who you are. I mean, you, you might think that a, you know, that the processor is, you know, well, 1.1 to 10. You know, that's so 10 years ago or whatever. But honestly, it runs very well, and I would say it runs as smooth as the Moto E second generation that runs the 410 quad core processor and I might even dare say that it runs as smooth or close to as smooth as the ZT Warp Elite with the 410 with 2 gigabytes of RAM and double the um, double the ROM so I mean it runs very smooth now if you're running it very hard very heavy you might run to some lag of course um, but for the most part it does do a good job it is very smooth and it works no issues. So the processor may be a, a con to some, but to me, it's more of a pro. I kind of I seen it up here now. I kind of I kind of made a mistake and didn't add the processor in. But the processor can be a pro or a con depending on who you are and how picky you are. If you're a picky person and say, "Well, this thing be, be be powerful enough for me," well, then if you got that mindset, it probably won't be. But honestly, it's a very speedy phone. Works very smooth. And I will prove that here in the full review coming up here and look here some here in a few days. And last but not least is the front speaker. It's a pro to have one in the front, but this speaker here is pretty poor. It's very tiny. The sound quality is not that good. Uh, watching YouTube videos a lot of times. Even on full blast, it's kind of hard to hear. It sounds quiet sometimes. Now, when you're playing music or, um, or your phone rings, it's pretty loud. Now, it has startled me sometimes when the phone rings. But on a lot of different kind of videos sometimes, you know, I can play one on my Motorola with this front speaker. It's really loud. I can play the same video here on HTC, and it's just kind of quiet. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, the front speaker is a good thing to have but also it I have seen better it's teeny it's very tiny sounding 
and it has no bass it's all treble and it's just kind of don't sound the greatest so these are just a few things i know it's 15 minutes long video i do i do apologize for it but i wanted to get everything out that i wanted to say but the pros and the cons of this phone i will be doing a shorter full review showing you some gameplay run some tests and kind of take you on the phone a little bit here in several days so stay tuned for that if this video helped you out any at all leave me that thumbs up i sure would appreciate it um, any questions or comments about this phone here, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. HTC Desire 626S. A big thumbs up in my book. It's an awesome phone. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video.